What's up, everybody? Welcome back to another Pitching Ninja's filthiest pitches of the day. I am Pitching Ninja, and I'm here with a rejoiceful Will Leahy. I don't know what you're rejoicing about, Will. I don't know what I'm rejoicing about either, Ninja, but uh, I'll tell you, you what have Michael... have a kid and stuff. Well, oh, there's that, good. but I'll tell you what Michael Kopeck is rejoicing about. It's And it's not just his glorious man bun. It's about throwing an immaculate inning to close out a game yesterday against the Twins. Ninja, first off, there there haven't been many immaculate innings all the time. I think I think it's like something like 118 ever. Has anyone yeah. ever closed a game with an immaculate inning? I'm sure somebody has. I don't know it off the top of my head, but I do know this off the top of my head. Michael Kopech's immaculate inning was the first immaculate inning for the White Sox in over 100 years. I mean, how ridiculous is that? Do you want to know the last dude to throw an immaculate inning for the White Sox? Take a guess, Will. Probably like hairy gold toes or something. It was even better than that. It was Sloppy Thurston. <laughs> How can I forget it was Sloppy Thurston who threw the last immaculate? Good old Sloppy Thurston did it on August 22nd, 1923. And I would guarantee you he wasn't throwing the filth that Michael Kopech was. Although he might have been throwing some spitballs and something. I mean, Sloppy Thurston probably is throwing some spitter, greasers, all that stuff. Michael Kopech, though, holy crap. This is one of the most dominant innings of the year fastballs up to 101 miles an hour these wicked cutters this is michael kopech at his apex and michael kopech at the top of his game is as good as anybody this dude is freaking lights out unfortunately one time out of every three he's meh. but yesterday lord this was ridiculous now on the rest of the whip around the league alec marsh had eight k's in six innings giving up three runs and three hits as the royals beat the cardinals six to four he had these sliders and got the knee buckle here and he faced Andre Pallante, who had five Ks in six and a third innings, giving up four runs, and had this fastball and slider. Eric Fetty, the Trap King, had five Ks in five scoreless innings. And he got out of this bases-loaded jam in the first inning, no one out. And you know what he said after that? He said, yeah, baby. <laughs> he had this painted back to our cutter, this fastball and sweeper. So White Sox down the Twins three to one. He faced Bailey Ober, who was solid yesterday with six Ks and six innings, giving up three runs. He had his painted cutter, and the pitch of the day for him were his change-ups. These things are disgusting. And I love this one where his catcher pats the ground going, throw it here, nailed the spot. You go, Bailey Ober, the giant man that you are. The Twins ended up winning the second game in a doubleheader. Pablo Lopez had five Ks and five innings, giving up two runs and had these sweepers. He faced Drew Thorpe, who had one K in six innings giving up two runs and three hits, and had this slider for a sword. Mike Imanaga the second had six Ks and six scoreless innings, and the Cubs gave the Orioles a big fat O in the run column, four to nothing. He had this fastball at the knees and these wicked splitters. He faced Corbin Burns, who had a meh outing. He had five Ks and six innings, giving up three runs. These curveballs and change-ups and cutters, including this paintish one. Nice to see our boy Mike bounce back after a couple rough starts. He's back in the win column. We're hanging with him at the All-Star game and getting him hammered. God, I hope that happens. <laughs> it's going to happen. I feel it. The Tigers clawed past the Guardians 5-4. to four. Reese Olsen had three Ks in six innings, giving up three runs. They had these sliders and change-ups. He faced Tanner Bybee, who had eight Ks in seven innings, giving up four runs and had this fastball and curveballs. Bryce Miller was really good yesterday, despite not getting a lot of Ks. He only had one strikeout in six scoreless innings, giving up five hits, as the Mariners shut out the Padres two to nothing. And this heater, he faced Michael King, who went six innings with nine Ks, nice, and gave up one earned run. He had this front door two seamer sweepers and changeup. Marcus Stroman had two Ks in four and a third innings, giving up one run. As the Yankees won two to one, he had this split change. He faced Zach Eflin, had six Ks in seven innings, giving up one earned run, had the sweeper, curveball, and changeup. The Phillies beat the Dodgers four to three. Gavin Stone had three Ks in four and two thirds innings, giving up four runs, had this front door two seamer and slider. But the Phillies beat the Dodgers four to three. Christopher Sanchez had five Ks in six innings, giving up two runs, and had the slider and changeup. Kyle Freeland was really good yesterday. He had nine Ks in six and two thirds innings, giving up two runs, and Boy, check out these knuckle curves. It was raining knuckle curves. As the Rockies topped the Reds 6-5, to five, he faced Frankie Montas, who had 7 Ks in 7 innings, giving up 5 runs and had these splitters. J.P. Sears had 8 Ks in 5 and 2 thirds innings, giving up 1 run and this fastball and sweeper. 
as the A's beat the Red Sox 5-2. Nick Pavetta had one bad inning this game. But we're going to skip over that bad inning because we're going to talk about the stretch where he K'd freaking everybody. He had eight consecutive Ks again for the second time this season. Ridiculous. He finished with 10 Ks in six and two-thirds innings. We gave up four runs. He had these sweepers and sliders, just pure filth. It's always feast or famine with this guy in the same game. In the same game. (laughs) It's so weird. I also love this where third base coach Kyle Hudson was working the umps. Look at him brown-nosing Ben May here on his mustache. The D-backs slithered past the Braves 7-5. to five. Slade Ciccone had three Ks in four innings, giving up three runs and a couple of nice sliders. He faced Charlie F. and Morton, who had five Ks in six and a third innings, giving up four runs and had these curveballs. Of course he had curveballs. It's Charlie F. and Morton. Gene Suarez had a bomb this game off him, too. But, he uh, did. You know, Morton still, still did well. Chris Bassett had six Ks in five innings, giving up three runs. He had this two-seamer cutter and curveball as the Blue Jays soared past the Giants 10-6. to six. Logan Webb had a rare bad outing this game. He had four Ks in five innings, giving up seven runs, and had the sweeper and two-seamer. Luis Severino had four Ks in six and a third innings, giving up two runs as the Mets down the Nats 6-2. to two. He had this painted fastball, this sweeper, and I love this home plate view. You can see how filthy that sweeper is. He faced Patrick Corbin, who had five Ks in five innings, giving up four runs, and had these dirty sliders. The Angels flew past the Rangers 7-2. Griffin Canning had three Ks in four and a third innings and had these sliders and change-ups. And I've always thought he looks a little bit like Littlefinger from Game of Thrones, so I did a face swap on it, and I think I'm right here. He has more power in his little finger. There it is. I don't know. It's genius. The Amish pitcher Tobias Myers had six Ks in eight scoreless innings. His ERA now is 3.13. Really good stuff as the Brewers shut out the Pirates 9 to nothing. He had these painted fastballs and really relied on fastball command this game. He faced Martin Perez, was kind of shaky, five Ks in four and two thirds innings, giving up five runs and had a couple of good cutters. The Royals beat the Cardinals 8 to 5. Michael Waka. Flock of Flames had three Ks in five innings, giving up three earned runs. He had this changeup, and he faced Gordon Graceffo, who, if you follow poker, he's Phil Gordon's nephew. Phil Gordon, friend of mine, so I'm technically friends with Gordon Graceffo. Phil Gordon was really good friends with my brother, big poker players. Both of them founded Full Tilt Poker back in the day. So anyway, little dropping a little knowledge on you. He had two Ks in three and a third innings, giving up three runs and had this slider. My start of the day goes to Framber Valdez, who had 10 Ks in seven innings, giving up one run, had these sliders, but most of all, he had these ridiculous curveballs, just absolutely disgusting stuff as the Astros dominated the Marlins nine to one. Now onto my filthiest relievers. Yuan Duran had these 101 mile an hour heaters. Jeremiah Estrada had these chitters. Kevin Ginkle had this fastball and sliders and K'd the side. Clay Holmes had this Expelliarmus sinker. And the bat goes flying. Griffin Jacks had this nasty sweeper. Justin Martinez continued his reign of filth with this 101-mile-an-hour fastball and splitter. CRA this year, 1.38. And if you're not following him, you should. Andres Munoz had these wicked sliders. And Matt Strom had this big K of Shohei Otani, causing Philadelphia to go crazy. Kind of love this angle of this strikeout. It's really cool. My top five filthiest pitches of the day at number five. I'm going to give it a tie between Nick Pavetta for his sweepers and Kyle Freeland for his knuckle curves. At number four, Framber Valdez for his curveballs. At number three, Blake Trinan for this ridiculous slider. And then this overlay of his sinker and slider. And again, good luck on this black magic. I'm not calling him a witch. At number two, Mason Miller for this 102 and 103 mile an hour fastballs. Like, dude, just throws pure gasolina. And at number one, the man who brought sloppy Thurston back to earth, Michael Kopeck for his immaculate inning. Should we call him Sloppy Kopeck? No, he needs a new name. Um, Schleppy. <laughs> Immaculate. 
It's horrible. No, it sounds like he's got really good pecs, though. <laughs> it probably does. I bet you he lifts like a fiend. Dude probably is a monster in the weight room. Keep it in your pants, Ninja. Dude, speaking of keeping it in my pants, now my pitching ninja moment of zen. <laughs> Shohei Otani had this awesome celebration, sliding in safe at second base. And I think this is going to live on forever in the hearts of many women and men as he shakes it off, if you know what I mean. He was actually just getting dirt out of his glove, Will. Quit those dirty thoughts. Sure. My picks of today, we have a pitching ninja boost for Paul Skeens today. For 8Ks or over, it was minus 150. It is now plus 100. So take advantage of it. I would also recommend looking at Hunter Green in the Daily Strikeout Special today. He's going up against the Rockies at home. I'm sensing a lot of Ks for Hunter Green, the newest all-star. What would your picks of the day be? 